President Trump said... What now? What did he say? President (laughs) Trump said the United States invented everything. (laughs) (laughs) I can't. He's so egotistical. (laughs) He's so unhinged. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, that's... My stomach hurts. It's funny when people say China only copies stuff because it's such a 1990s, early 2000s. I have no idea how this narrative spread it so fast, but I want Chinese to tell me, how do you do this? How could this happen? Rice into blood. Chinese inventions have been the rarest, the rarest, I don't know if this is an English word, uh, the rarest, you know, <laughs> uh, inventions that I've come across in my lifetime, guys. Rise to blood? You wouldn't believe it, but China is using rice to create blood. The most common grain in every household has transformed into life-saving blood for many people. This isn't a fantasy. Just this April, a biopharmaceutical company in Wuhan, China, after 20 years of research, successfully launched the world's first rice-based blood production technology. From 50 kilograms of rice, they can produce the same amount of human serum albumin as 5 liters of blood plasma, with a purity level of 99.99%. Its effect is identical to blood plasma-derived products, making it truly liquid with gold. Human serum albumin is a vital medication for cancer patients used to treat blood loss, liver cirrhosis and more. In the past it could only be extracted from plasma and there was a massive 62% supply gap in China. Imported versions were priced at 400 yuan per bottle. Last year the combined amount of domestic and imported human serum albumin exceeded 1,000 tons but imports made up over 69%, leaving countless families hopelessly struggling with the high cost of medication. Moreover, traditional plasma extraction methods yield just 2.5 kilograms of albumin per tonne of plasma. Collecting blood through donation cars is not only inefficient, but also carries the risk of HIV and hepatitis transmission. Now, China's rice-based blood production technology has solved these problems. The human serum albumin product has already completed phase three clinical trials and is currently going through the new drug approval process. According to Professor Yang Daitang's team, as long as there's water, sunlight, and nutrients, rice can continuously produce high purity human serum albumin. Just one acre of rice fields can produce as much human serum albumin as 520 people donating blood. This method of extraction is safe, environmentally friendly, and cost-effective. The research team has built an intelligent factory capable of producing 1 million vials of injections per year and plans to scale up production to 12 million vials annually. If this technology spreads globally, it could potentially increase the average life expectancy for all of humanity. A tiny grain of rice is carrying the weight of life, and China has unlocked a solution to the blood dilemma that has plagued humanity for decades using the most basic of grains. This innovation isn't just changing the medical field. We are also leading the way in health product development. Chinese manufacturing continues to break new ground, for example, extracting natural herbs into tablet form, such as ginseng and goji berries, to meet global health and wellness needs. Do you want to learn more about how China is leading in foreign trade exports and driving global business partnerships through innovation? If you're interested in doing business with China, I'm ready to help. I as well scrolled to the comment and someone said, fun TikTok, but scientifically shaky. Rice can't make serum, whatever you're seeing the comment there. If you don't know how it is done, it doesn't mean that it can't be done. I believe it can be done because it has been done. But how did you do this, guys? Surprise! So, there's another one, guys. China is now building a virtual AI world for AI doctors. So, what that means is they are now training AI doctors in this virtual world, right? With virtual nurses, with virtual uh, patients and everything, getting them ready for the real thing. Get this, these AI doctors passed the American medical exam and scored 93%. That is smart. And on top of that, they are going to roll it out across the country in China. So in the future, you could go to a hospital and speak to an AI doctor. Holy crap, that's freaky, man. You know, just when I thought I've seen everything, 
I just saw on TV today, the hospital in China that's completely run by AI. There's no real people, no real nurses, no real doctors. The whole hospital is run by AI only. This is getting to be too much. They said the accuracy of these AI doctors far surpass the best doctors anywhere in the world. And I'm wondering if it's because they have at the touch of their fingertips all the information, anything ever done, and it's all right there because everything's online basically. But how do you run a hospital with no people? And they said they can treat up to like 10,000 patients like in a week. They're just putting them through like cordwood, just one after another, after another, after another. Pretty soon, what are we going to have left? Are we going to have people running anything anymore? Are we going to have people running factories? Are we going to have AI firemen? AI gas stations? AI grocery stores? AI presidents? Maybe the sky's the limit. But I never really thought AI hospitals even possible. But if you get a chance to look it up, it's in China. All run by AI. Fucking world's getting crazy. Imagine how many people, how many women specifically, would be helped by a system that didn't immediately dismiss their pain. Going to the doctor, not once, not twice, many times, saying, hey, there's a problem. And they're like, yeah, it's because you're a stupid woman and you have a uterus. Good luck with that. We all have horror stories of not being believed. Some of them end up being deadly. And this is a very, very, very common occurrence. I feel like if AI is as validating as ChatGPT or even half as validating, probably be in better hands. This is so cool. This is a viral Chinese invention right now called the Smart Urinal. And what it does, it can detect the liquids which are coming from you and gives you a full health diagnosis based on what it can see. Now it can detect things like diabetes, other health deteriorations, which you're probably not aware of, and then gives you a full report on the screen for you to give your doctor. Now, this will definitely become common in most countries eventually, but China is so far ahead of everybody else right now. You know, when the world will be running after AI and wanting to catch up with what China is doing, China will have moved to another point because they will have learned from what a fast AI development can, can do to a nation. Is China slowing down on AI?